Hello and welcome to a quick installation video of our easy utility bumper on an Airstream Basecamp 20X. Now the 20 is a little bit more involved than a 16 because of the inclusion of this belly pin, which covers your access to the frame rails, which you need to get to in order to install the bumper correctly. This is what you will see once you open the box. All the necessary parts and hardware are included, so let's cut into it and lay it all out so we can get to the assembly. All the bumpers come with the printed version of the instruction manual and the paper templates you will need in order to cut the openings in the plastic cowl of the Airstream. The assembly is very straightforward, it's just a couple nuts and bolts and washers. Follow the instructions, as you can see we're using our stand that we use for packaging, but you can do this on a workbench or a floor or any flat surface. Make sure to get those bolts down tight. Now let's get back to the Airstream and start taking those jack stands off. It's a pretty straightforward operation, there's only three bolts holding them on, so undo those and you'll be good to go. There might be some caulking around the edges, so just clear that off and let's move on to drilling out those rivets. We did encounter a couple of tough spots around the belly pin and also a couple of hidden rivets but just take your time, work your way around the edges and you'll be fine. Mission accomplished. Now let's move on to cutting out the provided paper templates. We also provide a detailed instructions on how to place the template in our manual, but basically the secret is you want to line up the outside edge of the cutout area with the outside edge of that metal support leg you see right there. And this is the line we're talking about right there. We will now repeat the same step for the other side. If you have to squint or close one eye, that's fine. Just make sure you're aligned to the outside edge of the metal support leg. The next step is making the openings for the arms of the bumper. Again, all of these instructions are in the manual. They are also on the templates themselves. We just drill a pilot hole with a smaller bit. Then we step it up with the stepper bit. This is not an exact science, but you want to stay within the lines of the template. And now we basically connect the dots. Now you can do this with a handsaw if you're not into power tools, but trust me, it goes a lot faster. Now we are ready to insert the bumper into the openings we've just created. This is also a good time to recruit a spouse, a friend or a neighbor to help you out. Come in nice and even until the stop nodules hit the plastic cowl. The bumper will naturally sag a little, so make sure you apply upward pressure to seat it on the frame. This is how the arm should look like sitting on the frame. As you can see, it's nice and flat along the edge. We're going to use these pre-existing holes to guide our drill bit in order to drill the holes for the self-tapping screws. As you can see, we got ourselves a little kickstand to keep the bumper up while we drill the holes. We typically start with the very first hole, the one in the middle of the arm. Before you insert the self-tapping screws, we recommend putting a dab of Loctite on them. An impact driver also comes very handy for this part. 
follow the same procedure for the other side. The bumper will pretty much stay in place now, but before you drill the remaining holes, push down on the bumper slightly, just to make sure it's seated nicely on those frame rails. Now you can proceed to drill out the remaining holes and insert the remaining self-tapping screws. Now let's get ready to reinstall that belly pan. We noticed a couple of old rivets still hanging on so we got those out of the way. This operation also goes a lot smoother with a friend. Pay close attention to how the belly pan was placed originally. In our case, the metal went under the plastic in the back and over the plastic on the sides. It also took some adjusting to slide it back under the metal lip of the box. We reinserted all the bolts and self-tapping screws and now it was time to move on back to those jacks. Again it's only three bolts holding those up but there is a plastic spacer under one of the bolts to keep it nice and level. Just remember to reinsert it before you attach it. The last step is riveting the belly pan. We are following the original holes, but we did drill them out just a little bit because we're using thicker rivets. And there you have it, the belly pan is all riveted, the easy utility bumper is on, I think it looks better than factory. We hope this video helped answer all of your questions. If you have any more, please feel free to drop us a line down in the comments, on our website, Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. You got this.